So we can all contribute, I think. And, and I think the people in the book have gone beyond the ordinary contributions to the country, but they really have, uh, you know, a man like Bill Campbell in Prince Edward Island, who was going to be a priest at one point and decided, no, it's not for me. Celibacy is not for me. Uh, but, you know, sees poverty and sees people who are hungry in Charlottetown, you know, a, a city that's really not, you know, has nowhere near the problems Toronto has in that kind of way. And yet, you know, he goes out and does what he can to solve the problem. And he is an ordinary person. So, you know, to me, that's, again, the, the, the what I take from the book is what I, my philosophy of life. Look, we have a great country. Be happy you're here, but don't just let it come to you. Go out there and, and engage with it. I, I think that is such a profound message, like a truly profound message. Just to, to pick up Peter's point, we can acknowledge problems and even want to address those problems, but recognize that we have the opportunity to, I'm just paraphrasing what you're saying, I want to make sure I captured it right, um, uh, approach those problems, recognizing how much we have to be grateful for, to pull from, to leverage that we've inherited and build on it. Um, it's, it's an unbelievably important message, I think, for all of us to hear. An unbelievably important message. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Peter, let, let me, sorry. Yeah, let me, let me build on that. I, I'm not gonna push back on what you and Mark are saying, but I, I will say this. Push that away. It, that it does, it does take extraordinary people in some cases to make a difference on some of the key issues that still confront us as a nation. And, I, I take this from personal experience. Two of the, 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 the stories that I worked on uh, in this book, one was Cindy Blackstock and one was Nadine Caron. Now, Cindy Blackstock is somebody who some Canadians will know of because they've seen her. She's a, an activist based out of Ottawa working on um, Indigenous children's issues, both in education and health. Um, her story started with her own, you know, her own life, where for the, she was born of a, uh, an Indigenous father and a non-Indigenous mother. And for the first five or six years of her life, she couldn't quite understand why when they went out in public, if she was out with her mom, she was treated one way. When yeah. she was out with her dad, it was a very different way that she was treated uh, because he was Indigenous. Um, Nadine Caron is the first female general surgeon in Canada and um, indigenous female uh, surgeon in Canada, uh, which had its own pressures of being first and the pressures we put on people when we say, you know, they were the first um, or they could be the first. But in both cases, they faced racism at different levels. Now I raise this because as I started off in my career in Northern Manitoba, I saw a lot of things that I wish I'd never seen and they were usually related in some fashion to this gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous. And I used to ask, um, you know, ministers of the Crown, both provincial and federal, and, you know, uh, and leading members of the Indigenous community about some of the issues that confronted this wide gap uh, between the, these two areas. And I, you know what, when I left the National 50 years later, I was still, for the most part, asking the same questions yeah. of people in similar positions that, you know, we have come a bit in 50 years, but we hadn't come a lot. Right. I mean, we have come, we've come as a result of people like Cindy Blackstock and Nadine Caron, because they were and are extraordinary. They pushed the limits further to try and make things happen on their front. And I say that because I saw it, you know, what did I do? How extraordinary was I on that issue? Not enough. And that's why, you know, these people are special. We all have it within ourselves to be able to do things, but some of us actually do it. 